Silicon Valley Bank drops a bombshell on their state of the market report. Welcome back to Startup Pack. Here at Startup Pack, we turn beginners into full stack developers in as little as three months. Today, we're diving into Silicon Valley Bank's state of the market report that came out in 2024, talking and summarizing the events of 2023. This report, leveraging SVB's proprietary data and insights, provides a comprehensive outlook on the innovation economy, shows signs of stabilization, a promising path to recovery. Let's break down the key takeaways and talk about what they mean for startups and investors alike. As always, make sure you like and subscribe to help us out. So let's talk about Silicon Valley's bank's report. So first, let's talk about AI funds dominate the US VC fundraising. AI has emerged as a powerhouse in the venture capital sector, with one in four funds closing in 2023 focusing on AI. This trend underscores the growing confidence in AI's potential to drive future innovations and market shifts. It's an exciting time for developers and startups specializing in AI, signaling robust investment and growth opportunities. Next, we're gonna talk about the reduction in net burn Burn rates. An unprecedented 67% of U.S. VC-backed technology companies have successfully reduced their net burn rate year over year, marking the highest reduction recorded in recent history. This significant decrease in expenditures reflects startup strategic adjustments to extend their runway and navigate economic uncertainties more effectively. It's a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the tech sector. So in short, while money was scarce in 2023, startups had to get a little bit more lean and a little bit more creative around how they were using their funds so they could stretch them a little bit further. Next, we're gonna talk about increase in down rounds. The report notes an increase in down rounds activities driven by dwindling runways and the need to raise capital under less favorable terms. However, it also highlights a silver lining. Over two thirds of these companies go on to raise additional funds. This resilience suggests that while down rounds are challenging, they're not the end of the road for determined startups. And again, I think this has to do with startups being a little bit more lean and mean than they might've been in previous years when the fat was a little bit fatter. So let's talk about late stage tech valuation stabilize. After a period of volatility, late stage tech valuations appeared to have bottomed out in mid 2023 with a positive uptick noted towards the year's end. This stabilization is a crucial indicator for investors and startups alike, suggesting that the market may be regaining confidence and that we could be entering a period of recovery and growth. And this is really interesting data that came out of Silicon Valley Bank's report. Next, let's talk about surge in patents among series D companies. So the report highlights a remarkable 78% jump in the average number of patents held by Series D startups raising a VC round, reversing a four-year decline. This increase in intellectual property accumulation reflects a strategic emphasis on innovation and differentiation, laying a solid foundation for long-term competitiveness and value creation. Now, this goes on to talk about that there's signs of stabilization and recovery. Combining these insights from the previous ones that I covered, the report paints a picture of an innovation economy that's showing robust signs of stabilization and the early stages of recovery. For startups and investors, this environment presents both challenges and opportunities to rethink strategies, double down on innovation, and prepare for the next phase of growth. Now, what are your thoughts from this report? I found it really fascinating. Make sure you leave your comments down below and like and subscribe to the channel. Here at Startup Pack, we love training software developers. We take people with zero experience and help to train them to be ready to start as a full stack developer in as little as three months. So check out the link down below or go to startuphack.com today.